With so many different designs on the market, it can be a really tough decision when it comes to choosing a skirting board design for your home. For example, we have over 100 different designs. It really will come down to personal preference, but taking inspiration from your home is a good starting point. A decorative skirting board is easy to spot. They feature a design that shouts, look at me! The designs themselves can be small or large, but do generally lean towards the larger side. This is because you can fit much more detail onto a larger design, but even smaller designs can be just as intricate. We're sure you get the idea with this one. A plain skirting board simply features no design or something really simple and small. Often, these are used if you don't plan on bringing attention to the skirting or where keeping costs and maintenance are an absolute priority. Home styles are subjective and are purely down to what you want your home to look like. You live there after all. We generally split them into two types, traditional and modern. Based on what type you think your home falls under, we've given our opinion on which type of skirting board you might want to consider using, be it decorative or plain. So, you consider your home to be more traditional than it is modern. Some of the points below are assumptions we make for a traditional home. If this sounds a little like your home, we'd consider it to be a traditional style. This being the case, our choice would be a decorative skirting board. A lot of the features in traditional homes are already decorative. For example, ceiling roses, covering, picture rails, doors and so on. You might already have intricate designs within your home if you have any of these. So a decorative skirting board would fit right in and add even more character to the aesthetic. If you have a specific time period in mind when styling your home, more often than not you'll be able to find a skirting board to fit in. For example, if your styling leans towards the Victorian era, you might try looking for a Victorian style skirting. We consider a modern home to include some of or all of the following. Again, these points are just our opinion and your modern home could be very different. But we're hoping to give you an insight and some guidance if you're struggling to choose a skirting board. With all this in mind, you can see why a plain skirting board would complement this type of interior. They won't draw attention away from the clean, simple and spacious layout of the rooms. They also allow you to get away with having shorter skirting boards. If you're interested in buying skirting boards for a modern home, you can see what we have here. The short answer? Choose a plain skirting board if you want the lowest maintenance option. Some people love cleaning and others, well, they hate it with a passion. If you fall into the latter, a plain skirting board will be your saviour. Because they don't feature intricate detailing, dust has nowhere to hide, so keeping them clean is really easy. It's the opposite with most decorative designs due to the intricate detailing where dust can accumulate quickly and be more difficult to remove. We've got a whole post and video about cleaning skirting boards if you need some help. Choosing a plain skirting board can also be beneficial if you're going to be painting them yourself. Just like cleaning, it can be difficult to get in between the intricate detailing of decorative designs. On the opposite end, painting a skirting board with very little design will no doubt be quicker and much easier to get a professional looking finish. Bear this in mind if you're glossing too. Because gloss tends to yellow, you can end up painting more often. We've written about the different types of paint you can use on skirting boards and we've also made a video about this as well. Again, most homes will fall into either of these categories and both are the opposite of another. Minimalist homes tend to have a clean, bright and airy look to them. Visually, they can look emptier as they feature more spacious styling and natural colour palettes. Maximalist homes look busier and fuller. This is due to the use of bolder colours and design styling that can be a little in your face. Because of this, we can again suggest a certain style of skirting based on whether the home is a minimalist styling or maximalist. If you have a minimalist style of home, you're more than likely going to be better off with a plain skirting board. You probably won't have a heavy focus on a particular part of the room as the styling is meant to blend in together. A plain design will help you achieve this by keeping a simple look and not becoming a focal point. The opposite can be said if you have a maximalist style of home. You'll definitely want to choose a more decorative skirting board. As you'll more than likely have bold designs and colours throughout the rooms, a decorative design on the skirting can heighten the maximalist feel you are going for. The more decorative you go, the more of a feature they will become throughout the home. And this concludes the video. 
Hopefully you found it useful and insightful and until next time we will see you in our next video. Thank you.